Where should I buy my domain name? A question that comes up to everyone who is trying to start a brand new blog or website. In this video, I'm gonna show you my favorite way to buy domain names. What's up guys, I'm Andy, you're watching Learn How. And for anyone who's starting a blog, you're obviously going to need a domain name. Now, you've probably heard of all of the big sites out there, GoDaddy, Google, maybe, is that all the big sites out there? But anyways, you've probably heard of a lot of sites out there where you can buy a domain name for your blog and it can be kind of hard to decide which is best. Should I buy one from GoDaddy? Should I buy one from somewhere else? Like where should I get my domain name? Let me show you exactly what I recommend uh, for the best place to buy a domain name. My favorite place guys to buy a domain name is Google Domains. That is because it is so easy to buy a domain from Google Domains. A lot of those other sites like GoDaddy and stuff, the numbers can be really confusing. They'll say stuff like 199 now, but then it's 1399 tomorrow, or after 30 days it goes up to $20, but then next year it's $25 plus an extra $6 for this and that, and then you add on this and then, and it's just like overwhelming. Google Domains, guys, is so straightforward, 12 bucks a year, and you might be asking yourself, well, why would I spend 12 bucks on a domain when I can get one on GoDaddy for like 99 cents or whatever? Well, that's because GoDaddy is gonna charge you 99 cents and then they're gonna charge you $20 next year or they're gonna charge you 99 cents and they're gonna upsell you on like 50 other random add-on things and then you're gonna end up paying more. So that's their strategy. Go Google's straightforward, it's $12 a year, every year, you don't have to worry about the hassle. So let's say I'm looking for a domain name. Uh, let's, pick a, let's pick a random topic, ballet lessons. Actually, no, let's not do that because I don't know how to spell ballet. Um, let's do cat costumes. All right, so I'm just gonna search cat costumes, and then Google Domains is going to spit me out a lot of available domains. See, it's very simple. There's nothing else distracting on here. I can simply go down and see. Catcostumes.com is gone, but cat costumes, what? You can get the domain catcostumes.dog. Okay, that's freaking weird. Okay, but anyways, it will show you all the different domains, cat costumes. Um, it will also give you some recommend recommendations that are similar. So like, I always teach people, I highly recommend sticking with a .com. So I wouldn't go into, I wouldn't venture into the .us or .net or .me. Uh, ccostumes.com is available for $12 a year. So yeah, bummer that catcostumes.com is unavailable. But if I scroll down here, I can get some other ideas for domains that are available with the .com ending, houndcostume.com, that doesn't really apply. Animalsdress.com, that could be interesting, that kind of applies, catcostume.com. Dogcostume, doo -doo -doo. housecatdress.com, and then you just play around here. Cat costumes, or maybe let's try DIYcatcostumes.com. DIYcatcostumes.com, exact match is $12 a year. See you guys? That's all it is. You just do a little bit of searching right here, get creative, you can find a domain. Let me talk a little bit quickly about why I like Google Domains in addition to how straightforward it is. It's also under your Google account. So you can buy a domain under your same Google account that you're gonna use for Google Analytics, that you're gonna use for Google Search Console, that you're gonna use for your YouTube channel, that you're gonna use for your Gmail, that you're gonna use for your Google Calendar, <laughs> like I don't know, but it's the same Google account for everything, for Google AdWords, for Google AdSense. Once you get into blogging and building a website, you'll find out how many different Google programs you're gonna actually start using. So it's really nice to have everything under the same umbrella. It makes it really easy to verify your domain, it makes it really easy to transfer your domain, it makes it really easy to redirect your domain. Like having everything under the same roof makes it so much easier to manage, which is why I recommend using Google domains because you're gonna end up using Google for everything else um, analytics wise for your blog or for your website. So go check out Google domains guys. I'm not an affiliate, so it's not like they pay me anything for saying this. I just use Google domains and I like it. So I think it's something that you should do. And then when you're ready to start your website, you're ready to start your blog. I've got a link right below this video that will give you step by step instructions on how to start your blog or website using WordPress and SiteGround, which is the best CMS platform and the best hosting provider. And it walks you exactly how to do it. It shows you how to do it with Google domains. It's amazing. Free course, free guide. Click the link in the description. Save it, bookmark it, I don't know. Come back later on your computer so that when you're ready to start your blog, start your website, you've got all the instructions right there for you. All right guys, thanks again for watching this video. Make sure you're subscribed, make sure you're checking out our social channels. We'll see you in the next video.